winds are now pushing the smoke into the north and northwest parts of the city, Harris County, and beyond. Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil has been speaking with folks on the northwest side. Sophia, what are they noticing? Dominique and Keith, you know, honestly, it looked like it was about to rain. A lot of people thought it was just a cloudy day, but it was actually smoke. Right now, it seems to be a little bit better. Earlier, it was not so well. I live actually up here on the northwest side of town, so I noticed it right when I came into work. It started to get really dark, and probably around 6, 7 o'clock, then we started to see the sun again. Between 290 and I-45, it looked like a storm was brewing, but what appeared to be clouds was actually smoke from the Deer Park ITC fire. I actually noticed it around lunchtime over um, in the neighborhood, I noticed it. When I came outside, you know, for the first time seeing that, and I was like, wow, that's pretty close. Meteorologists predicted the plume of smoke from the chemical fire in Deer Park would make its way to the north and northwest parts of the Houston area. Even though the fire is about 40 miles away from this neighborhood in the Klein Champions Forest area, these neighbors still have their concerns. We got to hope for the best it doesn't affect us. Tuesday afternoon Harris County officials continue to assure the public that the air conditions are currently safe but still people were extra cautious. We weren't allowed to go outside. These two friends say while the sky was dark during school their teachers kept them inside. We're a PE. Our coach told us we can't go outside because he told us the incident about what happened and he said he doesn't want to put us in danger because if we're breathing in. For those who live far away seeing the smoky skies gives them a perspective of the magnitude of this fire. Now I know like it's kind of big because like it's like that far and still you can kind of see it over here. So I was kind of new. I was hoping that the people that were over there were okay and that everything was good. Now those two young friends attend schools in Klein and Spring ISD. We reached out to both districts. They told us that they were in contact with local emergency officials throughout the day. They did not have to cancel any after school activities or anything like that, but they were being extra cautious and just paying attention to the weather. Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.